FemoStop Gold is an external compression device that offers a comfortable, hands-free method of the femoral artery or vein compression after diagnostic and interventional procedures. FemoStop Gold consists of an arch, a sterile pneumatic pressure dome, a belt, and an integrated manometer. The dome is protected by a cover to keep it sterile during handling of the product. The new digital manometer is disposable and connected to the arch for your ease of use. Start by activating the pump. Pull the red battery contact tab. Pull in the direction of the arrow. When three lines are shown on the display, the pump is activating. When the activation sequence is complete, the pump is ready for use and a zero is shown on the display. Close the control knob. Please note, the control knob must be closed when increasing pressure and open when decreasing pressure. Prior to sheath removal, place the belt under and around the patient's hips. Check that the belt is pulled up equally on both sides and has not become twisted or folded under the patient. The lower third of the belt should be in line with the sheath. Carefully examine the puncture site area for any pre-existing hematomas. Note the patient's current blood pressure to determine initial supersystolic pressure. Also check pedal pulse to determine what is normal for the patient. Remove the protective lid from the sterile surface of the dome. Maintain the sterility of the dome as long as possible. Pressure is usually applied approximately 2 cm superior and 1 cm medial to the skin insertion site. The tip of the star-shaped dome is placed over the arterial puncture site using the femoral head as compression support. The dome should not be placed on the skin insertion site. Please note that the specific position of the arterial puncture site relative to the skin incision will vary depending on the angle of insertion of the introducer sheath and the distance from the skin to the artery. Withdraw the introducer hubs approximately 2 cm, just enough to clear the rim of the dome. Thread the belts through the locks at both sides of the thermostop arch by fully compressing the levers. Adjust the belt to a snug fit. The arch should lie level and squarely across the groin area. To minimize the risk for arterial or venous fistula formation, venous hemostasis should be achieved prior to removal of the arterial sheath. This is done at a lower pressure of 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury. Once venous hemostasis is achieved, begin to increase pressure to 60 to 80 millimeters of mercury. Withdraw the arterial sheath at between 60 and 80 millimeters of mercury. As soon as the arterial sheath has been removed, continue to increase the pressure to 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury above the patient's systolic pressure. To confirm correct placement of the dome, pedal pulses should be weak or absent during suprasystolic phase. Maintain this pressure for one to three minutes. Do not leave the artery blocked for more than three minutes to prevent limb ischemia. Lower the pressure to mean arterial pressure by opening the valve until limb perfusion is restored. Monitor the incision site to make sure that hemostasis is maintained. Check again for pedal pulses. When reducing pressure, avoid releasing pressure too quickly to reduce the risk of dislodging thrombotic material in the artery. After approximately 15 minutes, lower the pressure by 20 millimeters of mercury every two minutes or according to hospital protocol. Continue maintenance pressure according to your facility guidelines. Time to hemostasis differs depending on patient characteristics, anticoagulant level, the interventional procedure performed, and the French size of the sheath used. Enclosed with Femostop Gold, you will find a compression time example. 
The Freeman Hospital in Newcastle, UK, has developed a protocol with only 90 minutes to ambulation following diagnostic cases. For more information, ask your local sales representative. After a few minutes of observation at zero pressure, carefully loosen the belt on the puncture site side of the patient without totally removing it from the arch and gently roll the dome. Without completely removing the belt, move the arch so that it is clear of the area. This will allow better visibility and still provide the contact needed to quickly reposition and recompress the site if needed.